The first time one enters Diamond City, Mayor McDonough will give a speech to a small group of residents where he proclaims, I am not a synth, and then praises the wall. After the sole survivor finishes the quest jewel of the Commonwealth, the front gate remains raised. By using a jetpack or console commands if on PC, one can reach the platform with the crane arms above. There, one can interact with either crane, which will instantly reset the gate to its original position and then slowly raise it again. If the sole survivor completes the main quest line for a major faction, all the flags in the city will be replaced with the faction's flag, and members of that faction will be wandering the city. If the institute ending is chosen, Gen 1 synths will be found in the market. If the sole survivor communicates with them, they state they're in the city to spread the presence of the institute. Diamond City Security will explain that the synths suddenly appeared, but as they weren't causing any trouble, they were allowed to stay. Some synths will be crafting weapons or armor, while others may be browsing the stores in the market. Myrna, who previously seemed to have an aversion to synths, allows them to browse her store, and will no longer comment about hating synths. On the in-game dates of Halloween and Christmas, the market is decorated appropriately for the corresponding holiday. On Halloween, the decorations include banners, plastic pumpkins, and paper cutouts of cats, skeletons, and pumpkin men. The Christmas decorations consist of strings of colorful lights and Christmas trees. Furthermore, the Christmas decorations will be displayed from Christmas Day through New Year's Eve. However, in order for these decorations to appear, the sole survivor must visit Diamond City at least once on Christmas Day. Otherwise, the decorations will not appear on any of the subsequent days. Four baseball bases around the city are labeled with tally marks as home plate, first base, second base, and third base. Diamond City Security will occasionally encourage the sole survivor to run the bases, hinting that doing so would be worthwhile. Starting and ending at home plate, running over each of the bases in order will grant the home run. Trophy, Achievement. Also, the city's street names are named after their respective bases, including Home Street. There are two wanted posters in the city, one is next to Swatters, and another is just inside the dugout inn. Upon reading the posted notices, both assign the same radiant quest tasking the sole survivor with killing a raider, ghoul, or super mutant marked on the map at a randomly selected location. Although the notice indicates there is no reward except what is looted from the target's corpses, some quest completion XP will be granted upon killing the marked enemy. A new bounty will appear on the posters as soon as the current one is complete. There is a hidden diner just outside Diamond City. See that location page for details on how to access the area and its contents. Heading west from the diner along the edge of the Diamond City roof leads to the upper section of the entrance gate, near a rubble-filled area with a skeleton, two ammo boxes, and a first aid box. From there, careful jumping or use of a jetpack provides access to one of the large yellow beams holding the main gate in place, which may be activated to close the gate. The gate will not immediately close, the player character will need to first enter an interior cell for the gate to properly close. Once closed, the player character can open the gate from the ground by simply activating it. Climbing the partially destroyed building outside the northwest corner of Diamond City and using a jetpack to reach the city roof affords access to a duffel bag and an explosives box to the south. Other minor loot is found on the east side of the city roof accessible by jetpack, including a large toolbox near a skeleton, a cooler, and two stimpaks and a dose of adictol on a crate. Despite ghouls being banned from Diamond City, if Hancock or Billy Peabody, an intelligent child ghoul found during the quest kit in a fridge, is taken to the city, they will be allowed inside. Edward Deegan may also be encountered inside the dugout inn to initiate the quest special delivery. Sometimes while waiting in the market, an assaultron may spawn. While not hostile to the player character, it will attack other characters in the city. It may spawn as a glitch after hacking a robot with the robotics expert perk and not shutting it down or destroying it. In the Boston Bugle Building, a newspaper article on a terminal indicates that on October 23, 2077, the day of the Great War, the team was to play Game 7 of the World Series. The article optimistically predicts that after decades of failure, the team would finally win. 